What's up everybody? It is your girl Gwen and I had a fantastic week. I just got back from vacation today as a matter of fact and uh, I took a little nap. I woke up and I wanted to share with y'all the little goodies that I got. Um, but yeah, it was, uh, I got a little tan. I mean, tan for me. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but because I got this freaking ring light going. But anyway, great week. We went to, we stayed in Gregory, visited Hill, uh, Michigan. And uh, we also went to the towns of Chelsea and Dexter. So there are some things that we got from, I'll try to explain things that I got and where I got them from. Oh, and Ann Arbor. Me and Manny had a day trip to Ann Arbor. We were like, screw these kids, Let's leave them here. My son's 18 now. He's perfectly capable of watching his little siblings. And we had a day without kids. It was glorious. Um, but anyway, I'm just gonna get into it. Um, this isn't like, Super spectacular stuff. We went to Dollar General, which I wish to God that we had some more Dollar Generals in my neighborhood. Cause I, I know of one near me and it's garbage. Um, but out there in Chelsea, this is where I got this in Chelsea, Michigan, their Dollar General had it going on. Let me start with the lame stuff real quick. I got a pack of batteries that we already opened because my daughter needed batteries for her um for her camera because they ran out of batteries. Um, and then I got these three spoons. Let me set that there. Or these three kitchen utensils, I should say. Which I know I bought a wood carving thing. I'm so scared to use it because every time I use it, these boys run around me and I look afraid they're going to burn themselves. But I want to do stuff like this. Um, but they already had them done for $1. And they already had like these little burnt flower patterns on them. I just thought they were super cute. For a dollar, can't go wrong. So there's a little spatula, the spoon, and then a slotted spoon. And this went to Dollar. So Dollar Tree, if you're listening, they're not listening, but you know, if they were. Why aren't you selling uh, spoons like that? Oh, they got a body spray. Um, it's Pink Sweet Pea Fantasy by Lottie Fantasy. This is a good purse size. So I got it and it's, it smells like how it says, like Sweet Pea. If you ever had like any of like the Bath and Body Works Sweet Pea stuff, it's very similar. And I liked it. And it was fairly cheap. It was like two bucks, I think. I can't remember. My cat's knocking bowls down. I also got this little like cutting board that said be happy. Um, I just thought it was super cute and it was only two dollars. And actually I think it was even cheaper than that because like this is like their summer stuff and all their like summer um all their summer and spring like they had a cleared section. So I think this was even cheaper than two dollars. Don't hold me to it, but I think it was. Either way, I'd have paid the whole two dollars for it. Yeah, but all that stuff was on clearance because they're already putting out their fall stuff. And yes, I was on my summer vacation, but you already know your girl's favorite season is fall, Halloween-y, Samhain time. And uh, I just had to get these, oh, one a candle. Surprise, surprise. Um, but they had these three wick freaking candles with this beautiful gingham print um and they're only five dollars it's a nice lid it says autumn leaves and pumpkin please it's so freaking adorable oh, and it smells really good i don't know how the throw is obviously because they just got it but for five dollars a candle that size i was like yes please you're coming home with me and then i got this little pillow thing to like hang on your doorknobs and it just says happy harvest. I prefer things that say like, cause I don't really like celebrate Thanksgiving or at least I don't celebrate Thanksgiving like other people celebrate Thanksgiving. I do, um, like my kids know about how we came here. 
we stole land from indigenous people. They've known that since they were little. Like when they went to kindergarten and started learning about, you know, Thanksgiving and how we came and we feasted and they invited it. They know the truth. So we don't really celebrate Thanksgiving like other people celebrate Thanksgiving. We literally, um, we do see family. We all come together on Thanksgiving and like eat and feast, but like, we do think of it more of a day of give thanks for the things you have, the family you have, stuff like that. Um, so I don't like things that say like happy Thanksgiving. I prefer things that say like happy harvest, thankful. That's a good one. Um, but this little pillow had a little white pumpkin on there. I'm sorry, there's a super long rant for what I got this pillow for. Happy Harvest. It's beautiful, right? Cute. And it also matched a little pillow right here. I mean, my little candle. So, and this, can I say how much it was? I don't remember. It was only two bucks. Super cute. Two bucks. And so, even though I was on summer vacay, your girl had to pick her up that um, stuff. So that we got in Chelsea. Let's see what else. Um, then we, if you hear that clickety clacking, my kid's room's right there. He's on the computer. Um, we went to, oh, I guess I could show this. Uh, this was in a little store in Gregory. Um, it's just Sugarland uh, Smoky Authentic Moonshine, Mark Rogers American Peach Moonshine. That's for my dad. I'm going to give it to him before I open this, so it's not going to be like, oh, he don't watch my videos anyway. But um, I got him some moonshine, and it's peach flavored, I guess. I don't really know. I don't drink very often. I'm not an alcoholic alcohol enthusiast. Um, so I don't know if this is good or not, but we got it for him. But that was in like a little store. I don't remember the name of it. It was like a little, like their version of a corner store. So we got him that. And we also went to hell and I might give him this too. I don't know. I bought this for me simply because I thought maybe this is what they season their burgers with. And they have really, really good burgers in hell. They're freaking delicious. So I don't know. I might give this to my dad too. Um, but I did get this specifically for him and it's called Hell Holes Gourmet Concoctions from Hell, Michigan, Habanero, Habanero Hot Sauce. My dad does love, he's got like an assortment of hot sauces. And so I picked up this for him, possibly this too, I don't know, but you know, he'll enjoy that. I'm sure. I know he did tell me once that Habanero was the hottest pepper that he has ever eaten too. So. That's why specifically, they had a crazy flavors too. They also had a peach like hot sauce, which I almost bought because um, I love peach and I almost bought it for myself. But then I was like, you're not really into spicy and if it's too hot, then you're gonna waste all that money and never use it. So I didn't buy it. Um, so that we got from hell. We got from the little, I believe the restaurant was called the hell hole. Cause again, it's a little town, it's hell, Michigan. Everything there is, hell themed like hell in a handbasket it's uh they have an ice cream scream just go there it's an adorable little town um so we went to hell michigan and we went to the little gift shop of course and it got my daughter got this sweater the hoodie that says what does it say Damn, I don't know, illegitimate non carbur. I don't, I don't speak Latin. Carborundum, carborundum. Damn you, University, Hell, Michigan. Just a little sweater, but it was, she thought it was cute. I guess it's damn you. It's got the little like crisscross applesauce thing going on right here with the hoodie strings. And it's got the, I call this the kangaroo pocket. I don't even know if that's really what it's called, but we always call it. So she got that sweater. Um, what else, what else? Oh, this I didn't get in hell. This I actually got from random. Oh, it's all messed up. Crap. 
this I got from some random Walgreens, but it just was so pretty and had, um, damn it. Now it's all messed up. <laughs> well, whatever. It was a necklace set and it also comes with these two earrings that have trees on them and then a long necklace with a tree on it and then this tiny little, um, what was this stone? Adventuring. A little venturing stone and then a little like fake diamond but you know me and trees so i got it and it was 16.99 again it was just random like sec oh no it was cvs not a walgreens cvs oh that's also where i got this ring um i don't remember how much the ring cost i gave the guy the, the little tag um but yeah just some random cvs i thought it was cute so came home. I don't know how it ended up in this bag, but it did. And again, I know it's my summer vacation, guys, but it's hell Michigan, and when in hell you buy Halloween decorations. These were 10 bucks a piece, yeah, 999, 999. See if it says like purchase in hell Michigan. And they're just little like Halloween decorations, little tabletop things, which you know, <laughs> again, you know me, guys. I will leave that up all year round. No shame in my game. I think it's a good enough look. I'm sorry, I haven't done this in like a whole last week because I was on a vacation. So this one's got glitter on the wing. It's just a little raven on a skull. This one does not have glitter on it. But again, it's just another little like raven on a skull. Or crow. Could be crow. I'm not a you know, bird expert. Oh, my kids all got rubber duckies from home because they had this like little casket that had all these rubber duckies. Some had vampire, like rubber duckies, devil rubber duckies. My daughter picked this one up and then my two boys picked up a vampire and the one with the top hat, but I don't know where they're at. They're, in, they're somewhere. Somewhere around here, but I haven't found them yet, so it is what it is. Oh, they also gave me all this stuff. <laughs> this little biohazard bag, super cute. It's a specimen bag, biohazard. Um, but uh, these are a bunch of other little doofies I bought. I bought this lock because they have this um, bridge. Let me open it. They have this bridge called like Locks of Love and you can purchase the lock in the gift shop and like put it on there and like write your family's name on it. We already did that prior visiting there, so. Um, I just wanted one of these locks because it's freaking cool. But it's just like a little antique lock and you flip this thing up and these are the keys. There's just a very cool looking antique lock. I don't know what I would use it for, honestly. But I just like old creepy looking things. So, that's the back of it. Again, more of like a Halloween-y feel, but yeah, now. Oh, my sister also got this little hell poker chip. My sister, my daughter. Got this little hell uh, poker chip. A town on its way up. Hill, Michigan. Um. And then this is just a jar of dirt from hell. Yes, I paid $3 and some change. Actually, it was $3.33. All the prices there are like $9.99. Uh, $6.66 is the price of a lot of things in there. Um, this was $3.33. And it's just a jar of dirt. It says dirt from hell, Michigan. And I just thought it was cute. And I will probably put it in my apothecary thing, just amongst my jars, because somehow it fits there. Yep. <laughs> it just it surprised me. I'm like, which, which Pirates of the Caribbean is it? Is that jar dirt? She's like, do you not want it? The little like voodoo woman. And he's like, no, no, no. Then it helps. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Am I the only one who knows what? <laughs> anyway, we haven't seen Pirates of the Caribbean. That's a scene from one of them. I can't even tell you which movie because it's been forever since I watched them. Um, so that's the stuff I got from hell. Oh, they also, 
No, no, that's not all I got from all my bed. They also give you a little certificate when you buy the locks of love. Um, and they really burn it. They really char the edges, like, right in front of you. Um, yeah, it just says, Certificate of Eternal Love. This document hereby certifies that the Ortiz family, I just put us all on there, um, have locked their love of a locks of love bridge in Hell, Michigan, which I did in the past. Not this time. I kept the lock on but I still wanted a little certificate because I don't know what I did with the other one because, again, we went years ago. And then my daughter also got this little, like, metal um, sign. It says Hell, Michigan, 666. So... Oh, and they also, when you buy the dirt, um, it, they actually even give you like this little thing that tells you all the, like, oh, it's upside down, like the soil analysis, like what the soil is in Michigan. I don't know what any of that means, but there it is. Um, oh, you hungry? Yeah. Just being our kitty cat and his bowls are over here. Um, so that was it from hell. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Then me and Manny went to hold up. We gotta separate. Oh, here's that other, here's one of the other rubber duckies from hell. This is the vampire one. And then the other one I think has like just a top hat. Just like a fancy. And this is from um the Bolts at Midnight? Bolt of Midnight? It was a little comic shop in Ann Arbor. This is where me and Manny went without the kids. Kid free day. And then Manny got his little wrinkled. Sorry, this bag has been in there since I don't even know which day. Let's still got a price tag on it. It's $25.99. Godzilla on a tricycle with a rainbow. Because, like, why not? And, you know fans of Godzilla in this house. My kids are. My husband is. They're super cute. I don't know what this says. I... But he got himself that Godzilla shirt. You're good. You're good. And then I think that's, yeah, that's all we got from the Vault of Midnight. And then we went to this little crystal shop. I had to buy me a crystal. I mean, did I have to buy me a crystal? No. Did I want to buy me a crystal? Yes. Well, first, I guess I can show these. I got these for the boys. They're like little um fossil specimens. So I got one each for, um, again, the boys. Manny actually found these. He was like, oh, we should get this for him. And I was like, yes, absolutely. Um, so there's like a little ammonite in there, a little crinoid stem. I don't even know what that is. Um, a shark tooth, a dinosaur bone, a little chip of a dinosaur bone. Uh, a brachiopod, a bryozo, a bryozoa. I don't know. A gastropod and a piece of petrified wood. So just little like, you know, specimens, cool things. My kids really like to get those things from can't think of the freaking name of it. Those little discovery sets where you chip in like into it and like you can find stones and shark teeth and stuff. So we thought we'd give that to add to their collection. Um, so that was in that little crystal shop. They had like, they had like lots of dinosaur bones, lots of like prehistoric things. Like you can buy, it was like, I, I think it was like a wooly mammoth's jawbone, like which was ridiculous expensive, of course. And, um, I'm not about to pay all that, but it was a really cool shop. I wish I had filmed in there, but I did not. Um, but I did get myself this piece, and it's gorgeous. She is gorgeous. I love. She got a little juicy cluster right here, and it is uh, a Brazilian agate, and. Oh, oh no, we don't want to drop her. We do not want to drop her. My heart just went into my throat, guys. Woo! But she's a beautiful piece. She's going to go by ever growing collection of crystal babies. But uh, she was just so shiny and beautiful. And she was a good price. She was $35. That was a good price. 
So those are the only things we got from that shop. And the only things we got from Ann Arbor. We also ate at this like really cool restaurant. It was called Frito Bedito. And it was, um, what was it, Colombian food? I can't remember. But we had these like, Uh, these burgers with like Colombia and they oh it was just delicious it's delicious I'm actually I vlogged a bunch of it and I'm gonna put that together and I, that will probably actually go up before this video so I mean look for that or I mean maybe I'll try to link it like one of those iCard things I don't, I've never done that before because you know me techno stupid but um so then we went to Dexter and they had this fest um, that's all the stuff I got at Ann Arbor. So then we went to Dexter and they had this fest called Dexter Days. Like dazed. At first I thought Manny kept saying days, like Dexter Days, like D-A-Y-S. And it was days, like D-A-Z-E, like lady dazed. So we got there and they had all these little booths and music and it was fun. And so we had lots of stuff and some things from it. Um... I had bought, that's it, right, 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 yeah. So I, well, first let's start with this. So Manny got me this, guys. I've had this already, it's my, what do you call it? Amazonite piece, I love her. Um, but I got a new piece and we love her more. <sighs> no, we don't, don't listen to that. I love, I love you all equally. Anyway, it is a moonstone pendant came on a leather cord and you're not going to be able to see the flash in this lighting I might try to figure out a way to so you can see it because this is gorgeous gorgeous I was complaining about like oh I don't want to spend the money on it I was like oh, no I don't want it. Uh, she's so pretty though and then Manny went back and got it for me because he loves me so much and I actually, this is my first piece of Moonstone. I have like a tiny little like tumble Moonstone. Um, this is my first piece of Moonstone jewelry. And I've been actually eyeballing a couple on Etsy. But this one was very good quality. And again, you can't see the flash here, but gorgeous. Um, and then one of the other boots we went to, I bought this set of earrings which was a really good price this was only 14 for like real silver earrings and there are trees hold on let me do the little hand thing in case you can't see what I'm showing you gorgeous I love them so pretty yeah she had a bunch of cute stuff at that um, booth and I was like as soon as I saw the earrings, I was like, hey, you're coming home with me. And then I went to a different booth. Actually, the same booth that I got this from. Because I bought this first. And then I walked away. I was like, oh, I really wanted a moonstone pendant. And then Manny went back again. They got it for me. I got this little pendulum. Look at how cute she is. A little piece of quartz and what I'm assuming is probably obsidian. Oh, let me get rid of this right here. And she was 20 bucks, but we love her. And oh, she's got a little bit of the hair from the, you know, the stuff they put in the boxes to protect the jewelry, although this is not jewelry. It's got a little piece of quartz bead here, a string. And then a little pendulum point. Ugh. I love it. I've been, um, I was gonna use this, but I've been wanting to make, i seen somebody craft a pendulum board out of um, those dollar store like glass plates. So I've been wanting to make one of those. And then I was gonna just use this necklace because you can still use this pendulum, but now I have one specifically just for that i mean if you wanted to too you could take this off and actually put this on a necklace because i would i would have this a necklace i like some big gaudy statement pieces but i just got myself a pendulum 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 tomato tomato potato potato 
And then the last thing, which I think is the freaking coolest thing, man, he got for himself. He totally deserved it. He kept going back. He went back to the soup like, I don't even know how many times. And he kept like, oh, I mean, do I really need it? Like, do I want it? And this guy, my daughter bought some bracelets from them too, but I don't have them because they're already on her wrist. She put them on immediately. But he had bought this, I think, I forgot the name of the booth. I had their card somewhere. But I may have lost it. Yeah. And it's a freaking dagger made of obsidian. The blade is made of obsidian. And the handle's made from the jawbone of a black bear. I'll ethically source, he said, like the bones. Um, so he finds or found pieces of animal bones. And uh, so this is the half jaw. You can see the slice through it too. It's half the jaw of a black bear with an obsidian handle and he made it all himself the guy Ugh, I wish I can remember the name of their boot. I did have a card and I cannot find it right now but this is just gorgeous like this is like a one-of-a-kind piece who else who else got this nobody that's who and uh, and there was a couple there he was like oh uh, a couple there that he wanted and he's like oh, this one I like that one which like help me pick one out like by the fifth time we walk past this booth he's like what should I go with and I was like definitely go with one of the ones that have the bones for a handle because they had like a bunch of different ones obviously um, with different bone pieces and uh, so he ended up going with this one or this is the one that I thought he should get and he was like you know what yeah that is super unique and this is made of obsidian aka dragon glass um, and it is sharp. It is sharp, boy. But we like him. He's, he's fancy and he's going to go probably in the witchy cabinet away from small hands. But yes, um, Big Daddy wanted it. Big Daddy got it. He deserved it too. But that man, poor guy, he's the only one with a license. Well, actually that's not true. My son has a license now, but whatever. So he drove us around. And he was the captain of the ship and uh, got us there and back safely. So kudos to him. Anyway, guys, that's all I got for you. It was a lot, wasn't it? Oh, my God, this is almost a half hour. See, because I talk too damn much. Um, but anyway, I had a great time. I hope you all are having an amazing week, day, year. Um, and I will see you all in the next one. Oh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. You know, all that jazz whatever you're gonna come back if you like me and the ones who do constantly you are my peoples love you oh there's mr mittens mixed home socks deuces i just wanted to show you an up close and personal view of my new baby look at that inside flash uh it looks like it's illuminated by a light behind it but it's not it's just the flash it's gorgeous Ugh. It's one of my new favorite pieces now. And you, Big Daddy. <laughs>